local, late breaking. This is Channel 2 Action News, Sunday AM. Coverage you can count on. Today, a suspected serial rapist is off the streets of Metro Atlanta. We are learning how police say he preyed on women and why they think there may be more victims. Plus, this morning, a soldier killed in Afghanistan comes home. The patriotic send-off planned to honor his service. And we are keeping a close eye on the highways all morning, the areas you might get stuck in traffic because of weekend construction. Good morning to you. Thanks for waking up with us. I'm Sophia Choi, along with meteorologist Brad Nitz. And nice out right now, but it's going to get hot, huh? Well, that's right. Temperatures are going to be up close to 90 degrees this afternoon. We start in the 60s this morning, however, with mostly clear skies above. We are 16 minutes away from sunrise, and the skies, of course, getting a little bit brighter now. We're at 68 degrees in Atlanta. Humidity 87 percent, a little muggy, but a drier air than uh, what we have in the days ahead in place right now. Wind is calm. We have temperatures down in the low to mid 60s into the suburbs. We're looking at 64 in Dallas, Cartersville 62, 65 through the eastern suburbs. As well, and as we head through the North Georgia mountains, temperatures have dipped into the upper 50s. You're 58 degrees in Blairsville, so fairly cool to start the day, but hot this afternoon. Lots of sunshine through the morning and into the early afternoon, and then becoming partly cloudy as temperatures climb to 89 degrees this afternoon. A stray shower or thunderstorm possible. I'm going to put the rain chance in and around Metro Atlanta only at 10%. Mm. Um, almost all of us, if not the entire metro area, stays dry. A slightly better chance at 20% of an isolated shower storm over the northeast Georgia mountains this afternoon. We'll talk more about that and our rain chances in the day ahead. Coming up in your five-day forecast. We'll see you soon. Okay. Thank you, sir. Our top story this morning, police believe there may be more victims of a suspected serial rapist. Investigators say Gregory Hellman used his car repair business to target women. Channel 2's Amanda Cook is live at the Fulton County Jail, where Hellman is locked up on several charges this morning. Good morning, Amanda. Good morning, Sophia. You know, it's hard to hear the list of charges against Gregory Hillman.